Today on Retro Tech Repair, we're going to be unboxing vintage video games, consoles, computers, and other retro tech that I bought spares or repair on eBay. Hello and welcome to Retro Tech Repair. Uh, it's fair to say I have a bit of a problem. I've been buying and buying retro tech items to repair on the channel. I've not had a lot of success with some of the recent repairs that I've done. I've got boxes and boxes full of stuff. My wife is getting really frustrated with me. I live in a one bedroom apartment. It's time for me to declutter. So, unfortunately, I've given in and I'm going to do an unboxing video. So let's take a look at what we have. Some of this stuff, honestly, I, I don't know what's gonna be in these packages. I don't even remember buying some of this stuff. So it's going to be really interesting for me to see. Uh, I don't know what this is. Oh, this looks like it's some games. Uh, cartridge games. I don't know what system for. Hopefully you might get a, a little idea of what's to, some of what's to come on the channel. Okay, these are Atari 7800 games. Okay, so I, I do have an Atari 7800 waiting for repair. Uh, who knows whether I'm going to be successful with it. Like I say, I don't have a lot of luck with consoles. They're just a bit too advanced for me. I'm better with the uh, kind of standalone uh, handhelds. But here I have a Meltdown. 7800 Jinx and 7800 Azevius. So hopefully we'll see those in some future repair. Okay, I'm gonna zoom out a bit for this one. All right, you can just see my hands in there. Very good. Some of these I bought a long time ago. They have not been opened. Okay, so this looks like it is a lot of joysticks. Not perhaps terribly exciting, but uh, we have, have quite a lot of consoles and things to repair. I didn't have any joysticks for me. So this is a old school quick shot joystick, PC analog joystick. Uh, interesting. I can't imagine that being worth anything, but uh, yeah, maybe an interesting little piece of retro tech with a turbo fire and some other things. I don't know if I'll be repairing that. It reminds me of playing Wing Commander. I remember that game, that was a lot of fun. Let's see what other joysticks we have in here, because I think they're all joysticks. Speed King! Oh, that's a bit tired. Uh, interesting looking joystick, not familiar with that one. These were all bought as spares or repair, by the way, so whether they work or not, but Speed King, Speed King joystick, interesting shape. Uh, standard kind of nine-way D-type on that one. So there really are a lot of joysticks in this box. We'll revisit the joystick unboxing a little bit later in the video, but for now, let's take a look at something else. Uh, I don't want to make sure there's uh, no addresses on this. There is an address, it's on the back, it's the sender's address. Um, yeah, this is an exciting little thing. I do, rem do remember what this is now. Smaller than I expected. This is a BMX burner. BMX burner, got a crack in the screen. Uh, I didn't realize these were quite as small as this. I've seen them advertised on eBay before. Um, this is obviously spares or repair. I did buy it on eBay. It looks like the battery compartment's intact. This used some kind of different technology. I think maybe it was a backlit LED or something. I'm not sure. Uh, buttons seem okay. We should put some batteries in this one, see if it plays, huh? Should we do that? Should we put some batteries in it, see if it plays? Let's pause the camera a minute and do that. So, you know, some people are kind of very keen that you must always use the same uh, same family of batteries and the same batteries in every, uh, in a, at every time. So obviously I need to stick to that. It's very important that you do always never mix batteries. That's a very bad idea, apparently. I honestly don't know whether it is or not, but. And it was sold for spares or repair. Does it work? Oh. Oh, it makes some noises. It makes noises, but there's no lights. It's not, it's not a very exciting sound effect. I wonder if these batteries are a bit flat. Not in great condition. All right, well, you know, something to look forward to. Anyway, BMX burner. 
and we'll repair that hopefully, or we'll take a look at it in a future video. Let's take this uh, impressive battery selection out. All right, lovely. But that's a, an old Xbox controller. Looks pretty tired, that one. That might be one for the bin, huh? Straight for the bin, or maybe we'll open it up sometime, see if there's anything good in there that we can salvage. And what's this one? That's a, maybe a Mega Drive, a Sega. Not sure again, looks pretty tired. I do have a, um, I do have a Mega Drive, yeah, so I do have a Mega Drive for repair, Mega Drive 2. Yeah, so maybe I'll keep a hold of that, and there'll be some parts I can salvage and use in that, who knows. Obviously I'm not a professional unboxer because I've got, well, oh dear, cut the desk, never mind. It's actually gonna be replaced soon anyway. One day I'm gonna do a tour of my lab. My lab is just one desk in the hallway. I only have a one bedroom apartment. So these are gonna be games, I'm sure. But what for? Ah, looks like for the Atari 2600. Again, I have an Atari 2600 waiting to be repaired. These are, no, no, are these, these aren't Atari, are they? I think these might be in television games. These might be in television games. My bad, so I haven't in television. I've actually forgotten about that altogether. So we've got Star Strike Golf, Mission X, Lock and Chase, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, it doesn't say what console they are for. Data East. Uh, I think those might be, um, I think those might be games for the, uh, in television. So this probably wasn't one of my wiser purchases. Probably wasn't a very good, uh, probably wasn't a very good buy. This hope I didn't pay too much money for it. Oh, some kind of fake Chinese import controller, uh, a graduate phase nine. You know, kind of connector that has on. That's a, again, a nine way D type. Who knows what that's for? Good Lord. Yeah, I think they saw me coming with this batch, huh? But it could have been worse. I could have bought another fake, uh, oh. Okay, well, so it's a Sega controller, maybe another kind of aftermarket Chinese controller with some buttons on it. Really not very excited about that. This probably wasn't the best box to start with, huh? The boring box. And another, another kind of fake, oh, this looks like a PC. PC Megapad, maybe? I don't know. Again, yeah, no wonder my wife's mad with me, huh? What a load of old rubbish this is. Oh, this is an interesting lot. This is an interesting lot. I was kind of excited about this. Um, so this is a vintage calculator lot. Uh, we have a Techset 880 Executive. It's um, I think an LED display. It's a very nice looking little calculator that's actually. It's got a battery in it. Uh, made in Hong Kong, don't know if that works or not. Well, that one looks like maybe it works. For those Commodore fans amongst us, there's a Commodore calculator here. This also is at least partially working. It's quite a nice looking display on that. You may not see it in this bright light. Yeah, that seems to work. That's quite a nice looking thing. Uh, it won't be a great repair, but uh, interesting. And then, oh wow, look at this monster. What is this? An Adler 81 CS. AGL bus, 5.4 on off. Yeah, I don't know what that's all about. Um, got the instructions for it though. Um, doesn't seem, this one doesn't seem to work. Don't know if it's got any batteries in it, no. So that may or may not work, but we'll look at that in a future video as well. Interesting kind of thing, Adler 81 CS. Another Commodore calculator here, this time boxed. Very yellowed. Looks similar to the other one, but this one uh, has a power, power jack on the side. I don't remember seeing that on the other one. Maybe I'm mistaken. Uh, a few bits kind of rolling around inside. A uh, broken battery connector. That might be the only thing that's stopping it working, but it is very yellowed. Very yellowed. That would be a topic. Uh, I've never I've never used the hydrogen peroxide technique that people have talked about. And they call it retro brighting, I think, which is, you know, if you want to create names for bleaching things, then I suppose you can, but um, I might have a go at, uh, at bleaching that uh, or retro brighting it or whatever. You know, if I had hair and I wanted it blonde, I suppose I could go and have it retro brighted. 
uh, but normally you'd just say you have it bleached or coloured, wouldn't you? All right, another Commodore calculator. Oh, this has had some fun. Look, it's all worn off. The silvering's all worn off on that, but it's scientific, which is quite nice. It feels like it has a battery and it's pretty weighty. Uh, I can't see how you open it to put the batteries in. Unless it unscrews, it's quite heavy. And it'd be interesting to pop that apart and take a look. You know, maybe that, if we can get it working, that would be a topic for a restoration. It's like with some silver paint, uh, it might uh, it might repaint that. So that might be interesting. And then this is in a kind of hard shell case. And this, oh, this is what I actually wanted. Look at this, it's, a, it's in poor shape. Yeah, but the Sinclair Executive Memory Calculator, uh, obviously not working, I don't think. Uh, I don't think many of them did. Um, really hard to repair, even the engineers at Sinclair couldn't repair them um, because they were, well they could, but they were glued together. So if you tried to separate them to uh, to repair them, then you had to basically destroy the case. Uh, so uh, that's not working. It seems to have a very small display. Uh, the first kind of pocket calculator really that would fit in your pocket. And then another Sinclair calculator, fully boxed. With its original, perhaps ever ready battery, Sinclair Oxford 150. That's a nice looking thing, isn't it? I think that's a nice looking thing. You know, if you were a if you were a Sinclair fan, that would be a nice thing to have. I like that, really. And uh, another kind of butchered Mega Drive controller. I don't know what happened to these that they would end up like that. Yeah, that uh, Two budget Mega Drive controllers. Things aren't looking very promising, are they? And we can open this up. And this is a Grip Lend Space Fighter. Interesting little thing. These are mechanical games, I think. Don't know much about Grip Lend. Somebody actually asked me if I'd ever done a Grip Lend game in one of my comments. I've never heard of them, so. I kept an eye out for one, and this was the one that I ended up getting at what I hoped was a, a reasonable price. Boxed, and box is a bit squashed, but... Uh, and look at that! That's a dinky little thing, isn't it? Huh? Now, my history with mechanical games isn't great. 1990 Epoch game. Uh, it's like a battery contact job. Yeah, the battery contacts have fallen out. But you know what? That you know that might be okay. That might be a reasonable repair. I do have some success repairing battery contacts at least. That seems to be something that, you know, sometimes I mess them up, but I don't always mess them up. So uh, maybe that's something we can repair and get going. So but good, Gripland Space Fighter. I look forward to doing that one. So, what are these? Hmm. What are these? Ah, these are Philips Video Pack games. Yes, the G700 Philips Video Pack. Those are kind of neat, huh? This big kind of case looks like the old um, video cassette cases before Betamax and VHFs. Video Pack 4 game, hard plastic case. We have a uh, Video Pack 4 and. Uh, 18. Thirty-two. Eighteen variations of the thirty-two. And nine. Ten. And crunching around at the bottom here without all of its stuff. Thirty-nine. Alright, so good. Well that's interesting. I actually think I have two video pack consoles and they're not. I'm going to have a go at repairing those really soon, I think. Oh my goodness, what's this? Oh, it's a green thing. Green things include island, apple, avocado, fish and Jägermeister. To see a longer list, take a look at the Alexa app. Controller. That's uh, maybe PS2. I forget what the connector was on the PS2. Uh, that is really uh, hideous and, uh, and broken. Completely valueless. 
Good, well I think we'll be going straight to the bin with most of this stuff. Uh, just... Oh, quick shot! Ah, the old quick shot. This was my joystick of cho choice for my Sinclair Spectrum. Except this one's a Cheetah 125 and not a quick shot. It's a quick shot 2 kind of clone, two buttons. Rapid fire maybe. Uh, wasn't a big fan of the quick shot 2. If that's a quick shot 2, it's like it's something else, Cheetah 125, but I was more of a conventional quick shot kind of guy. And this. Of course, I don't have anything to test these with. Well, I've got lots of computers and stuff, but none of them work, so. What's this one? Techno Plus Mega Control Stick. Wow, that looks the business, doesn't it? Again, another made in China kind of nasty uh, controller. A turbo button on the top, two fire buttons, really, what was I thinking? Ah! So, a bottle of perfectly smooth and delicate Malt Masters Selection Single Malt Scottish Whiskey. Doesn't sound all bad, does it? Not a bad way to roll out a Tuesday night, but I don't think that's what it is. I think it's got actually some very tired yellow accessories and the game. Can you tell what it is yet? It is. Oh, and a, another game and a, another game. Pokemon. All right. Well, we're kind of getting there. It is. That's the end of it in a case, which is pretty nasty. A, it'd be nice if it was a Pokemon Game Boy, and it's yellow, is it a Pokemon Game Boy? It's a colour, uh, it's not a Pokemon colour, it's a colour Game Boy. Okay, I think I did remember, I do remember buying that. Uh, it was also spares or repair. Uh, well, I think it would be rude not to at least have a go, wouldn't it? Let's see. I actually never had a Game Boy, or a Game Boy Color for that matter, so as you can probably tell I can't even get the cartridge in the right way around. Always use matching batteries from the same set. Never mix your batteries. Very important. And... Uh, on. Okay, well that's uh, what appears to be a working uh, Nintendo Game Boy Color. And we'll try some different games obviously, but on the face of it, it uh, looks like a, a quick clean up and that's going to be done. So uh, maybe that might be the last, uh, first and last time you see that. Who knows? It's heavy. This is really heavy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, well, that's interesting. <laughs> it's actually, I've actually forgotten all about this. So I have a Atari. A data cassette. And then a huge Atari power supply. A power lead. And what looks to be An Atari 65E. Oh, here's fun. That's an interesting thing as well. Bit dirty, but still has, I think, some of the original plastic covers on. So, you know, it might it might clean up all right, that really heavy, these machines. Boy, you know, if I'd have known, uh, when I had my Specky and the other games, we kind of used to scoff at the Atari consoles. Sorry, the Atari 8-bit line. But they were great machines, and, and I think they were really, really underrated. Uh, so I'm really excited to have that. I have an 800 uh, XL that I was going to repair as well. Um, but so I'm really excited to have that. It's going to be a great repair. I hope that I can repair it. And then in here, what's well, kind of a cassette box, storage box, presumably of Atari 2600. Sorry, of Atari 800 or 65XE games. Oh, there they are. Okay, goodness me. Grand Prix. Master Chess. 
Ghostbusters Ricochet Special. Micro Rhythm, 199 silver. Micro Rhythm, 199 silver. Wasn't a big spender this chap, huh? 199 silver, Warhawk. Mata Blatter. Hmm. Space Shuttle, all 199 games. So there's a load of games, but they're all kind of cheap and cheerful. Uh, Atari games, probably no grates in there. It's all very dirty. It's like it's been in someone's loft or garage, but um, it's gonna be a lot of fun to repair that. Might even just work out of the box. You never know. But quite a few computers do that. So we'll see. I don't know what the earth this is. A beige joystick. Uh, presumably for a PC with a PC connector, so some kind of joypad for a PC. Oh goodness. I hope this is over soon. Somebody's invested a lot of money in brown paper here. Nicely packaged package. Judging by the weight of it, I do have a suspicion what this may be, and it isn't terribly exciting. You may not find it very exciting. It might be exciting, you never know. Oh, no, no, no. Ah, it is actually that Atari 800 power supply that I talked about that I, uh, unfortunately, this is just a prime example of me spending too much money again. You know, I had a, uh, I have an Atari 800 that I bought in a job lot. I thought, you know what, I'll buy a power supply to go with it so I can test it and get it working. And then, Lo and behold, I then I bought an Atari, in the meantime, bought an Atari 65XE, which came with the compatible power supply. And then forgetting that I bought that, I then bought this power supply. So now I've got all these power supplies, just uh, not very exciting um, haul of stuff there. I should have another power supply somewhere, which is actually what I thought that was. Um, but I haven't managed to track that down, so maybe... That's in a box somewhere else. Just push that aside. And we got our rosé wine box. I heart wines. Finest unbranded rosé. Well, unbranded rosé it may be, but they've done a decent job of packaging it up here. And it is very yellow. It's a very yellow thing. Quite a big yellow thing. There we are. It's a big yellow CGL Twin Vader. Interesting game. I don't know where they got the name Twin Vader from. It was a play on Invader. They weren't allowed to use it. So I don't know, maybe they, uh, I think, I think the invaders look very much like the things that kind of swoop down at you in this game. So maybe twin was the kind of clone or something, but all right, as spares or repairs bought on eBay. All right, so I think actually that might be it for today's unboxing. And there it is. It's a fairly conventional quick shot joystick. This was my joystick of choice and actually still feels good. Still like that. Uh, I'm sure it wasn't worth what I paid for all this load of rubbish, but you know, there we go. One more. I don't think this is going to be exciting at all. I think it's even less exciting than the other one, if it's what I think it is. But it will give you a very small hint of hopefully something that is to come. Now, you know, I know that everybody's done all this stuff before and I'm not doing anything new. But I'm just doing my thing, you know, and I'm hoping to just keep some of this stuff out of out of landfill. So this is very uninspirational. What it is, is it is an AC transformer. And uh, it looks like, honestly, it looks like a way to lose your life, doesn't it? Doesn't that look, really? I think it's ex-military. And it has, uh, let's have a look on the primary here. Has a zero and 240 volt primary. 
and then uh, on the secondary it has plus and minus 15 and plus and minus eight. And the reason that I wanted that was I need something like that because I have a Dragon 32. Dragon 32 power supplies are really hard to come by and I don't have the power supply for it. It, it had a power supply photographed when I placed the money on the listing. In actual fact, what arrived was a, uh, not a Dragon power supply, but I think a Commodore Amiga power supply, something like that. So really not that much use at all. Um, and when I looked back, it said, you know, spares or repair, Dragon 32 power supply. It didn't say it came with a Dragon 32 power supply. So a little bit creative on the part of the seller. This, these things happen from time to time. You know, I'm quite nervous not looking at this in my hand about wiring that up to the mains, but uh, who knows? That just about wraps it up for our unboxing video today. I hope you've enjoyed the video and that if you have, you will consider hitting subscribe. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching Retro Tech Repair. My wife was right all along. Terrible, terrible box of junk. Hi, what's inside here? That could be a problem. Just what are the joystick works as it should. Great. Grandstand scramble, wonderful, looking forward to fixing that.